what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i know i'm looking a little rough but i wanted to come and give y'all a little bit of good news and no i did not take the nclex yet okay calm down calm down and yes i'm looking raggedy once again but look y'all i just took a cat on archer and it says congrats you passed the test so let me give you the tea on this. So y'all, I've been stressed, y'all. Stressed, cause I've taken like, I've taken over, probably over 400 questions in the last 48 hours. So on Archer, I've been doing the um, readiness exam. I did a readiness exam, I did two. But y'all know all of the stuff from the last vlog, so I ain't going over that again. But since I purchased, I did, um two practice like tutor exams i took a um one of those was focused on the thing that i needed to focus on was the physiology adaptation and then i did um one with over everything then i did um the readiness exam which is over any and everything right and i did a borderline i mean a um the board the baseline Y'all, when I did the readiness and the base, I mean the baseline exam, it literally kept telling me I'm borderline on if I will pass NCLEX or not. It never said if I was um that I was high or very high. It's keep saying borderline, right? So y'all see, I told my friend, I said, I'm about to be done with Archer if I take this cat and it comes back that I did not do well. Now, this is more like the NCLEX. I personally would advise you to do like I did, do at least the borderline and then do a readiness exam. But don't let the readiness exam discourage you because I just took the cat, which is just like NCLEX. It gives you like the harder it and then it backs you down to something that ain't so hard. It like does that thing. I don't know what it's called. But and then it also um will tell you. It will tell you. Let me see the results. So it will tell you. um What was I trying to say? So it does that. But it also it, it does the whole cut off thing. It would just cut you off at 85 questions, between 85 questions and 150 questions. This shit cut me off at 85 questions, y'all. Previously, it was saying that I was not, it, I was just borderline. Borderline. And it was a lot of shit on this cat that I was still like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Okay. Y'all, I was, I was, I was about done with Archer. I saw, I said, I told my friend, if Archer fucks with me again, when I take this cat, I will be motherfucking going to U World because when I went on U World, I got an 81 on their, um, practice, but I've been getting damn sixties and shit on, on damn Archer ass. Y'all. So I'm going to keep Archer and I'm just going to continue to do the cats. I'm no longer doing the other ones. If I pass these cats, I'm going to feel better because it's like it gives you it. Y'all, y'all just don't know. Let me see what my actual grade was. I don't know if that's how this one works. I don't know. Let me go to my QBanks, my previous exams. So I got a 70 on this one. I got a 70. Now previously I've gotten like on the 85 questions, I've gotten a 42 on a borderline on a baseline assessment. I got a 63 on the um readiness. And those are the only two that let you know. Well, the other, the other ones, like I got a 60, what I said, a 63, I got a 63 on the, um, the one I did earlier, which was a readiness exam. And then I got, a, um, 
62 on one that I got did before that with 85 questions that was focused on the sections that I needed to focus on but I just got a 70 and it says I pass the cat yeah so I would suggest to do my friends like was it hard yes it was hard it was hard now I was to say which I just told my friend I don't think it was as hard as the baseline y'all it's raining so bad and I was gonna go instacart and I'm not going out in that and I feel good to instacart y'all right now because I did well or I passed a predictor I mean like because that's what that is that's what the cat is it's a predictor on how you will do on NCLEX I think that it's easier because it kind of caters to you. You know, if you're not doing that well, it's not going to like keep giving you these hard ass questions over and over and over again. And I feel like the readiness, ex I mean, the other, the baseline was giving me hard after hard after hard. Like, but. Oh, I knew that was that and I still picked the other one. Y'all, some of this shit, I'm just like, girl, I got about the first three questions wrong. We'll see. I'm going to see, like, I'm going to actually look into this one. I look at all of my review, all of the answers and things like that. Um, and like I said, like before, I'm, I'm literally going to do the same things I was doing before. The same things I was doing before I'm going to do. Oh, I got like a lot of these right in a row. Like, damn. But like, I want to look at my strengths and my weaknesses. Like, you know, on my statistics. Really, my, my main thing that I go to look at, y'all, is client needs. Okay, I actually did really good on physiological adaptation, y'all. The peer score is 60. I got a 73 in that category. So on this one, I had two weaknesses, and that was health and promotion maintenance and management of care. And I scored in the 30s on those. But the other ones I scored in 60s or high, I scored above the peer score. Basic care and comfort, that was a weakness for me. I got 100% on that. Safety and infection control, I got 100%. Reduction of risk potential, I got 83. And then physiological integrity. Yeah. But I feel good, y'all. So I'm going to continue. Look at this rain, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. Can y'all see it? But y'all should at least see how cloudy it is. Y'all, it is like pouring down like I did not expect that and I don't have nothing to eat when is it I'm like when is it gonna let me see let me let me check the weather app let me let me text my man and make sure he all right because you know he his his during the week job is outside well kind of <laughs> It, the doors is open regardless i don't know if they close the doors though they might close the doors when it's like raining or at least put them down a little bit because they probably don't close them so they won't you know but this should say 95 chance of rain honey when is it stopping it says it's stopping at five between four and five it'll stop and it is 239 so y'all i feel good about that i am still obsessed so i will be continuing to do crap practice questions right now i'm gonna just look at um and did i tell you i passed in 85 questions on here but i've been doing 85 questions on me i'm just saying but whatever i think that it's just different it, it caters to you so I'm gonna continue to do those. I'm not. I'm not doing all them other ones no more, except for like the tutor ones, the ones where you can see like what you got wrong and why you got it wrong right then. Um, 
but yeah so I'm gonna just look over this exam because I really want to see how I did on the um I really want to see how I did on the new gen questions oh here it is actually it say my score was a 97 I scored pretty well on the I scored pretty damn well y'all on that damn new gen stuff pretty damn well like I scored let me go to client needs I like to go to client needs now basic comfort I didn't score well but all the other ones, I scored high as shit. I scored, a, well, I wouldn't say high as shit, but, well, for most of them. I scored above or either at pure score for all of the other ones. I scored hundreds, 80s, 280, uh, 87 and 88, 75. Then I got the two that were lower. I mean, not one, the one that was lower, which basic comfort and care. And then 63% which is the same um, percentage repair score for safety and infection on new gen questions so i'm definitely gonna look take a look at those because it was giving me a lot of new gen a lot of new gen it was giving me a lot and i was wondering i was like well maybe i'm doing good my last question was a new gen question and it was at 80 and it has six parts to it and i was like damn this is gonna take me to 85 so either it's gonna cut off or it's gonna go to the next question honestly i thought it was going to the next question until it just kept going in a circle but I, that's enough of me talking y'all i said y'all wasn't gonna see me until the day of inclex and now i'm up here showing y'all about this but i guess i should show y'all like my process with studying and stuff but yeah so i'll keep y'all updated on that but i'll probably check back in with y'all later in the week what's up my people y'all so it is currently friday the 26th and i have a little bit of updates for y'all so so um one is a great update y'all so someone has already taken the NCLEX in our in our cohort my girl melissa if y'all know melissa melissa um Y'all should know Melissa. I feel like Melissa has been en enough on the channel for y'all to at least know a little bit about Melissa. But go ahead and put in the comments that y'all congratulate Melissa. She passed the NCLEX, y'all. She took it third, I mean Wednesday, and she just got her results today, Friday morning. So I'm so happy for her. Um, I also realized I never told y'all when I'm taking the NCLEX, which I can tell y'all because this is the NCLEX video. I'm taking the NCLEX on Tuesday, July the 30th, y'all, at 12 o'clock noon, honey. So, hopefully, I will get my quick results back by, by Thursday around noon, okay? So, that's some good news. You know, I'll get it in the same week. Um, other news, y'all... I got my start date for my job. I start August the 12th for my um, new job, my new grad RN job, y'all, yes. As some of y'all should already know if y'all watch previous videos, but if you don't know, I am gonna be working on a general surgery post-op floor. Um, <laughs> we'll have um, post-op patients and um, some, I think they said some chemo patient or some chemo patients. I'm assuming like a, if they had a um, chemo implant or some type of implant, that's what I'm assuming that those type of surgeries will be. And then um, we'll have some wound care, but we do have a wound care nurse on staff. So that's not something I would really probably even deal with, but we will have some wound care patients on our floor. Um, yeah, so that is the type of floor I'll be working on. I'm really excited, um, but we'll get more into that later. Um, I just received my 
offer letter well not my offer letter it this one is my letter my um letter for my bonus so if i didn't tell y'all or if y'all just don't know i get a fifteen thousand dollar sign on bonus for my residency program i get it in two payments um i get it at at 90 days and then i get the other half well half at 90 days 7590 days and then the other half at um 12 months and i can still transfer I can still transfer in six months if I want to. So, oh, so I'm considered the spring cohort unless they just didn't change it, even though it's summer. I don't know. Um, oh, you know what? I did apply for spring. I don't remember. Anyway, so i'm looking over it now y'all i was trying to see if they had the percentage of the um taxes but i'm pretty sure when i was talking to them before the percentage of taxes is 25 percent so when i calculated i think it's like 5700 that i would get after taxes so let me see 7500 times 0.25 that's 1875 is what they will be taking out so subtract that from 7500 and you get five thousand six hundred and twenty five dollars is what i should have coming to me maybe a little less because my check will be into that too so it'll be taxes it'll be taxed onto that as well but they said that it was 25 percent no that's okay um but yeah y'all so I can't wait to get that first check honey and I hope that I don't need anything because I want to buy something that I just want but it's something that I do want I want to get my never full bag y'all I've been wanting that bag for years honey and I said I always said that would be my first luxury purchase is my never full never full the never full bag so yeah I want to get that with um really I want to purchase that in September or October though um, cause I don't want to wait so closer to Christmas cause you don't get the bonus like that very check. You'll probably get the following check after your 90 days. Um, but it'll be pretty good cause then I'll get my bonus in January as well, y'all. I'll get a bonus in December and January. August, September, October, November. Hold on. No, I get it in November then. But I'll probably get it out of first week of December, end of November. But anyway, that's enough about that. Um, my pay, I'm willing to tell y'all that as well because I'm transparent, y'all know. Um, I do, I will be getting paid $32 an hour. I will tell y'all more in detail about differentials once I get my offer letter. I They say on this letter that I'll get my offer letter within three days from um from that letter so i'll probably get my offer letter sometime next week but they said on the other email that i wouldn't get my offer letter until after i pass in clicks so we'll see yeah because i have next week and the week after that yeah so they said that i'll get it by the after i take the in clicks once i they can verify or whatever but anyway so so yeah, I'm gonna sign this offer letter. So I just lied. So in this contract for this $15,000, they don't want you transferring in six months. Now I wonder this girl that I work with, this girl I work with, she actually transferred residency from OR to my facility in urgent care and uh, girl i wonder if that fucked up her bonus well she didn't even receive the bonus yet so i wonder because i don't think she had finished her 12 weeks or anything or whatever i don't think she got that far okay this is probably burnt enough yeah i like my sausage burnt honey okay let me just put this down but yeah y'all 
So I'm going to make my food real quick and then I'm going to come back and uh, talk with y'all a little bit more. Back. Let me show y'all my... Girl, like this is the best bagel ever. You can eat it open face like that. Um, it's I love me some bread, honey. Baby. That shit hit every time. I don't know if I got that part from anyone, but I did get the like, I used to make this all the time, but the avocado, when that was popular, mixing the um everything bagel seasoning and pepper flakes, I put it on the damn bagel, one of these Dave's bagels, and um put it with some sausage, some a little bit burnt honey. hit every time y'all every time I won't disappoint but anyway yeah y'all so I have been continuing the study using Archer um I mainly been kind of trying to like yesterday I did all prioritization questions. I had 85 prioritization questions. And I did pretty well. I got a 76 on that percentage on that portion. Um and then but I could see how I like cuz you can see what when you get it wrong, when you get it right. But I could see towards the end like or towards like the beginning I wasn't doing so well. But as I'm going over every these questions back to back to back, I'm getting the hang of how to answer them. If you feel what I'm saying, like I'm getting the hang it to where at the towards the middle to the end, I was barely missing any, like barely. So um, I thought that that was really helpful. I'll be doing that with farm today. I'll do 85 questions, pharmacology questions. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to do OB. Sunday, I'm going to do Pete's. And then Monday, y'all, I think I'm going to try not to do anything. I don't think I'm going to try to do anything. I think if anything, Monday morning, I'm going to go ahead and take a practice a practice cat. And then let that be that. But I've taken two cats, got passing. The, the first one that tells you your baseline, it tells you whether you would pass or fail. What, if that was your NCLEX, whether you would have passed or failed in 85 questions. And it said I passed. Although it said borderline, I still passed. So, yeah. The percentages do not matter, y'all. So don't get y'all panties in a bunch about that. It's based on how well you're doing overall with the questions. So yeah, mm. I made this one way too big. But that's really all the updates I think I have. I told a couple people that I worked with yesterday that I my last day is the is um or my start date or transfer date is the twelfth. I didn't tell them when I was testing. I just said, you know, I'm not telling anyone when I'm testing. But what I will tell you is that I transfer on the 12th. Okay. So my mom and sister, they don't know. They're coming here on the day after. They fly in the day after I take NCLEX. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to like, I'm not going to do the trick, y'all. What I'm going to do is just keep checking um, board NC Board of Nursing verification, like the verification. I'm going to just keep checking there and see if um, it has my license number within because I see a lot of people say after 24 hours, it'll pop up. I haven't I don't think I've seen anyone for North Carolina say that, though. So this is just on TikTok, but a lot of people don't post about that. 
So I will be doing that. But yeah, y'all. So yeah, I'm not doing that trick because you now you gotta pay the two hundred dollars, and then it refunds you. But still, I'm just like I could just wait twenty four hours. I'm gonna just try to keep myself occupied or whatever and yeah but yeah I'm just ready for it to be over y'all <laughs> what is up y'all y'all ain't seen me like this like with my natural hair I did a perm rise set last night y'all um well, let me show y'all what I got on. So I got on this little one piece. Um, my headlights are on, but this can, of course, you can see I can't have no bra on. I could have some pasties or something, but even they poke through those sometimes. So anyway, but I got this one piece romper on from Shein. And I'll link it below just in case y'all might want to purchase. Um, I just got this Steve Madden, or not Steve Madden. Is this Steve Madden? Oh, it is. It's Steve, a Steve Madden bag. Child, I had this for forever. It's my go-to bag just to, like, have on. Um, and then I just got some sandals that I got from Columbus, Georgia, when I went to visit my family out of their mall. Um, so I don't know where it was from. Um, but yeah, only thing I don't like about this is this part right here. It's kind of like a little bunched as if it should be a little bit tighter. But yeah, anyway, this is the fit. We are going to um, the graduation get together, um, our graduation party with my with my cohort okay with at least i think it's like seven or eight of us that'll be there tonight um so i'm about to run to the store get a box of variety chips for us and then um my boyfriend is gonna take me because she lives in a building that's like type of uptown building it's not uptown but it's like a parking deck situation and all that and I'm the type of person I really don't like dealing with that type of stuff. And she said it's some like visitors parking, but um, it's a parking deck within walking distance. And when you say that, I, I don't want no parts. Like, I don't want no parts. I don't like dealing with stuff like that. I like dealing with a regular parking lot. But since we ain't got that, that's fine. That's okay. She only lived 10 minutes from me. My boyfriend is going to drop me off in my car. And then, yeah. But I'm about to go to the store first and then um, I'm going to come back to my house and just pick him up and um, we'll ride over that way. So I'll see y'all when I get there. Oh, so I'm here. Here's the hostess with the mostest. <laughs> Everybody is here. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> 
Me too. Y'all trying to like squirt it in my mouth. That was good though. Okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah. 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 All right, y'all. So I'm about to try the dirty Shirley. Y'all know I love me some Shirley too, but I never really had it when I was I don't fuck with nobody. That's my problem. <laughs> I got family that I don't never see while I'm here. But if I go back home to Wilmington, I'll see them there. But I've been living here for six years. I ain't never. Oh, wow. I've only hung out with my one cut. Well, two of my cousins. Like, and I barely hang out with one of them. And all the people I meet at work, I. I just like, no. yeah, I don't allow to choose not to hang out with those people. Yeah. Yeah. What is up, y'all? It is the next day, as y'all can see, honey. Um, I'm currently home. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it is currently literally 20, 48 hours until I take in clicks, honey. 48 hours until I take the NCLEX. Asher Poo, give me one second, okay? I heard you. I heard you. Don't be looking mad, honey. Y'all, he just got in the tub. That's his sign for he ain't got no damn water. So he get in the tub and then he hop right back out and then he come and look at me like. <laughs> Uh-uh, not you hear from the camera. I saw you. Anyway, y'all, so... Um, last night was a great time. I must say, we had a really good time. I didn't vlog a lot, but I just wanted y'all to, like, get a little a vibe. But, y'all, I'm so mad that I didn't, um... The table set up, I didn't get it on my camera. I got it on my phone, so I'll probably insert it. But, um, I'm just like, it, it would have been so, just everything to get it on the camera and the, um, yeah, whatever. So, <clears throat> I'm currently, I was just on the phone with my mom. Uh, Y'all about slipped up, or I did slip up. Luckily, my mom ain't hear me because I slipped up and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's, it's 48 hours until I take the NCLEX. I'm not telling my mom, y'all. I want it to be a surprise because they get here the day before I find out my results. Now, she probably, she know, I'm, sh 
I know that she knows that I'm scheduled for it because I was like, you haven't even asked me when I was scheduled for it. And she was like, well, when are you scheduled for it? I said, well, it's a surprise. So, um, yeah, I'm sure she knows that it'll be like either I'm doing it when they come or either um, I'll know when they come. So, yeah. But anyway, so right now I was looking for um, one of Pastor Mike Todd's sermons um, to watch. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to look at like the most recent but he didn't he posted one in two weeks almost like he posted one two sundays ago this is two hours and 50 minutes i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna watch that that's too long but then he has like a series right here of overflow from obscurity i hope i said that right but um it's the overflow i guess it's different parts to the overflow i might just watch one of those um <clears throat> but i'm gonna watch that while i'm cleaning up and then um but now i'm working on ob y'all i told y'all that i wanted to do ob and pete's this weekend yesterday i was supposed to do ob i had finished my um farm one that i was i had started on i didn't really do anything friday <clears throat> started on um farm saturday finished that one started ob got a headache or no i just stopped I didn't get a headache this morning. I got a headache. So I was a little hungover. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, let me stop. Cause I kept getting answers wrong. Now I'm not no OB queen. Y'all should know that OB was my worst subject. Um, so I'm about to finish this OB one. Cause I stopped it. I went and got some cookout cause I was craving it last night. Cause after I drink, I'd be wanting to cook out, but I had got real car sick because I get car sick if I'm on my phone and I'm in a passenger seat. If I'm not driving and I'm on my phone, I get car sick. And I should have known that I was going to get car sick when I had been drinking. Even though I didn't feel anything, I knew I would get car sick with being on my phone. So last night I got car sick on the way there. I was like, you know what? Just take me home. <laughs> like, so... <clears throat> we just came home and I was like I'll get cookout tomorrow so I went this morning got me some cookout it was all right and then um yeah so I just got home with my mom and I'm about to go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me I'm about to go ahead and finish this labor and delivery uh, well OB and newborn maternity and newborn I'm gonna finish this on Archer then I'm gonna start I'm going to get to get my other one together. Um, my um, Pete's one together. I probably won't do 85 questions of Pete's though. Because I feel like I feel pretty confident enough to do Pete's or get a few Pete's questions and be able to answer them correctly. But OB was my real problem. So, yeah. That's why I'm doing 85 questions of OB. So, I'm probably going to do like 50, 40 to 50 questions on Pete's. And then, um, tonight I might do adult. I might just say fuck it and do adult. Because tomorrow I don't plan on doing anything besides a cat. In the morning I'll wake up, do a cat. And that's all I'm doing. And then I'm relaxing for the rest of the day and just preparing my mind for NCLEX. Like, I'm just literally going to be in my bed watching Sex in the City probably or something like that. Because my, um, one of my nursing school friends, she told us that Sex in the City is on Netflix. So, I'm probably going to watch it. Start watching it tonight. Today. So, I'm probably going to do this. Then do 50 questions of OB. I mean, Pete's. And then do 50 questions. Or you know what? I might do 85 of a mixture of. I might do 40 each. Because adult health. Y'all I got a, a adult health. I know enough about adult health to get adult health. You know what I'm saying? Like. So yeah. I'll probably just do 40 questions each of those. And then. 
that'll be all of my studying for today because I'm not going to overwhelm myself. I might look at my Mark K notes as well. If y'all, um, trying to see how y'all could get the Mark K notes for me because I got them from a, a fellow nurse. Um, well, she's a nurse. I'm, I'm, I'm not a nursing student anymore, but I'm in the intermediate. By the time y'all see that, this, I will be a nurse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I was supposed to upload a vlog today. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all probably gonna get these shits back to back because I'm just like, I don't want to focus my attention on anything else besides God and, <laughs> and my studies. Okay. Church and my studies. That's all. And then I'm just watching other stuff just to keep my mind off of the fact that I'm going to take this NCLEX. But another thing I want to talk to y'all about real quick is, I think I might have mentioned this to y'all, but I don't know. But my philosophy, or my theory rather, on NCLEX is people that don't pass either just don't know anything or I really feel like a big chunk and I feel like this is like 95% of people who don't pass just have really bad anxiety truly and honestly truly and honestly I feel like people just have extremely bad anxiety I because I feel like a lot of us know our shit you know what I'm saying we pass nursing school we know our shit but it's just the anxiety I think so I want to say this please 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 do not go in that exam with extra anxiety I was watching this girl today and she was just literally like you know I passed my second in take on the NCLEX and 85 questions but let me tell y'all how my first time went she literally was like she was shaking so bad even when they were having her take off her jury and stuff she was just shaking and in my bones I can literally feel her anxiety right now but like she said she was literally shaking and when it got to like 85 when the questions didn't pop up I'm when it the screen didn't go blank she was just like oh my gosh like and you know had a really bad anxiety attack pretty much went took a break came back and was just like I just gotta finish I just gotta finish this and get out of here like that was her mindset that was what was in her mind but like you really have to go into these and just just like it's a regular exam y'all I think the benefits behind using Archer or UWorld and stuff like that with these CAT exams, treat them like the real NCLEX. Treat them like the real NCLEX. Go somewhere in a quiet part of your house, set your computer up, no phone, no anything, and take those questions straight. No interruptions. Because it's going to get you conditioned to being in that in that type of environment to where you don't have no distractions and you got to take this exam. And, you know, just take your time, but don't take too much time, if you know what I mean. Like, don't be trying to take too much time to be changing your answers up and stuff. Um, I feel like for me, I'm always on my practice exams. If I feel like I feel strong about an answer being correct, I won't choose it. I don't know why, but that's what happens when I'm I'm taking a study mode one. Like when I'm going to see the answer, then I click the answer and I click reveal answer. And lo and behold, it was my original answer, but I changed my answer. I don't know why I do that in the study mode, but I don't too much do it in the real mode. Or when we were taking exams and stuff, I wasn't really doing that. But in this study mode, I always try to just click the second, my second choice to see if, okay, because that's that second guessing. Like, if I was to have second guessed this on the real test, would I have gotten it right or wrong? And I always get it wrong. I'm not going to lie. I always get it wrong. Unless I can justify why I chose that, why I'm changing my answer, I always get it wrong. I swear to you, even if it's something that I don't even know nothing about, I still end up getting it wrong. So I'm trying to like condition myself to not do that on the practice either. But it sometimes it'd be hard. Like, because I just be like, I just want to see if I was to choose this other answer, would I get it right? <laughs> 
And literally, like, 98% of the time, I get it wrong. And my first answer, my first instinct was right. So, yeah. But anyway, that's my rant. Y'all, we have less than 20, less than 48 hours until we take this exam. I'll probably get to the testing site literally, like, an hour early instead of 30 minutes. My test time is actually at 12.15. I don't know why I thought it was at 12. Um, but yeah, it's, they just sent me a reminder earlier today, I think, or yesterday. Yesterday, they sent me a reminder. It's at 12.15, y'all, on the 30th of July. It's so crazy because, y'all, my, um, my new supervisor, when I interviewed with her, she was like, when did you plan on taking your NCLEX? And I was like, within two weeks. Or no, she might have said, when were you planning on starting? And I was like, in August. And she was like, so when are you planning on taking your NCLEX? And I'm like, within two weeks after I'm done with school. And she was just like, you know that they they, they don't usually um, schedule them that soon or something she was saying. or, And I was like, girl, that... At my school, that's how it works. And it is. At ECPI, one thing I can say, they, they're they going to get you scheduled as soon as you're done. That following week, you'll be scheduled. Unless you're, um, like, we're in North Carolina, South Carolina. They have to mail in their stuff. So, they won't get their stuff until, they won't get their ATT until this week. Which, it really, it really sucks, y'all, for them. Damn, I gotta go get the damn charger now. All right, y'all. What is up, my people? Ooh! Hey, y'all. <laughs> um, so we are less than 24 hours away from NCLEX, y'all. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, I'm ready to get it over with. Um, I took another cat exam which is the like practice NCLEX for Archer or either U World if you use U World um and if y'all don't know those exams are adaptive they're a computerized adaptive test I think is what it stands for but these adaptive tests they adapt to how you're how you're doing on the exams you know it kind of gives you questions that pretty much will help you get to where you need to be to pass pretty much like you know so I passed it I took it this morning and I passed it um that was my third one that I well really it was my it was my fourth one but it was my third one because it was one of the it was the actual one that where it will give you 85 to 150 questions like it's literally just like NCLEX the other one the first one I did was a board borderline exam and that is just 85 questions if I'm not mistaken I think that's just period 85 questions it's not like but it has on there in the like once you do so many cat exams it'll actually populate and it'll show you that you still passed whether it said borderline very high high whatever the fuck like I have not taken another readiness I took one readiness and both the well two including the borderline the baseline and both of them said I was borderline but with the cat I know that I had to have scored very well, high or either very high on two of them. But um, on the cats, they don't tell you that. They just say whether you passed or failed. Um, but I've passed all four of those. And I'm going... I said I wasn't going to do anything. I wanted to really chill. It's already... Y'all, time is flying. It is already 2.30. And it really don't feel like it's been that 
it's not that it don't feel that late but um i'm just chilling i am gonna look over the cat that i took this morning i did go through it to see like certain things that i really wanted to know if i got it wrong or right or whatever but i need to really review the um rationales on that one so i'm probably gonna get my computer do that um while while i'm right here i can show y'all some of my graduation gifts that have come in um my cousin speaking of y'all i need to go get my um hold on i need to get my um other my old phone because i changed my number recently and my cousin's phone number is in the other phone for some reason it's not in this one I must have never saved her number but so um I'm assuming she got me these other two things but I know she got me this one because her name was on this one this is just a pole socks y'all I highly 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 suggest this just to have in um on you so you don't have to worry about like going to get a whole vitals machine or really is needed for really it's needed for the ed <laughs> i don't even think i would need it on a floor but yeah anyway i think it's still good to have move i sure be getting on my nerves y'all so um i also had this on my list now she purchased from my list um on amazon so it'll be linked below if anybody want to give me any graduation gifts i'm not like begging y'all to get anything but if y'all wanted to it is in the description box um but i also had got a pair of scissors with two pin lights it came with batteries and then i got a fanny pack so i didn't expect this to be leather y'all i just thought it was gray cloth like but i guess it's great that it is leather because then i can just wipe it down but it has a lot of different compartments in here a lot you can put like I can put my scissors in one of these pockets right here you know um, and then it has an overall big zipper pocket right here and then on the back you also have a couple pockets so yeah but it's a fanny let me put it on for y'all real quick now i know my waist is gonna be smaller so try to tighten it oh perfect sorta oh hold on I... there we go so i would just wear it like this yeah i like this fanny so yeah that's what she got me um off of my list I have to text her and thank her y'all it was hell getting this package because you usps lost my freaking package and yes post office usps honey they lost my package so it was hell trying to get it back but i got it back um i don't know why amazon people put it in this big ass box to where it couldn't fit but it could have all went in this little envelope you know so I don't get that. But anyway, yeah. So I wanted to show y'all that. But y'all, um, like I said, y'all know 20 less than 24 hours until like literally in 24 hours, I'll be done with taking the NCLEX. I'll be done. I just pray, honestly, y'all, I really, really pray that it goes well. Like I just pray to pass and you know, otherwise y'all won't see this vlog. <laughs> But y'all know if y'all saw it, honey, I'm just saying, because y'all not going to see the results in this video as much as I wanted the results to be in this video. I have like, I'm going to be picking up my mom and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I will start a new vlog for when I go pick them up and then I'll put this, I'll keep this vlog as that, you know or something of that nature maybe i'll put all of the little parts because i did go out in this vlog well not out but i went to the party i might just put this vlog together with my mom and them 
and then give y'all the studying part of this vlog with the other vlog. So if the vlog is kind of choppy, if these next two vlogs kind of choppy, girl, you know why. But my camera um don't got no more storage, so I will check back in with y'all tomorrow or later tonight. I don't know. 